Hello everybody, Sailor Moon Pet Shop, and I know it's been a while since I've done a video. There's been a lot going on, and also I have not been able to have my shop open in Adopt Me because every time I log into Adopt Me, after like the first few minutes, the game crashes me out of it. Like it won't let me play. So I got to figure out what's the deal with that. In the meantime, I have been playing this game called Islands, and I had several people ask me about it, how to play it, that it doesn't look really fun, and they see me playing it all the time, and I can tell you, it's a lot of fun. There is so many things you can do in this game. So I'm going to do a brief tutorial, and not everyone, from what I'm hearing, gets this little <clears throat> tutorial guide at the top where it tells me, let's create a bridge to my portal. So I'm gonna go over the basics and we are going to <clears throat> do this together. And I'm gonna teach you guys everything that I've learned so far. And yeah, as I discover new things, I'll let you guys know. So to start off, we have on the left side of my screen, little tabs called Backpack, Skills, Explore and a little notebook and a lock. So backpack, self-explanatory, it's everything that you have. Your skills, when you first start out, you're gonna have zero, it's all gonna be level one, and you will gain more skills as you play more. And explore. Explore is where you're going to see where other people that are in the chat with you if you want them to come to your island, you can invite them. If you have friends that are playing too, you can invite them. On the left side where it says my join code, that's the code that you can give to other people if you want to let them be able to join your island and connect directly to you. It is, <clears throat> excuse me, just like Adopt Me where um, you can teleport to the person. If your friend is also playing, you can teleport to their server. If their joins are on with this one, as long as you have the join code, you can connect. Now, this is my alt character, and I did this on purpose so that, um, eek, there we go, explore. I did it on my alt character so that I would get a brand new fresh island to give you guys all of the lowdown at first. So before I started, it gave me the option to cut down a tree. Up at the top, the little guide, it said, go cut down a tree. And I was like, okay. So it wants you to cut down a tree so that you can then make a pickaxe. <clears throat> and then I made myself a nice little pickaxe. And that's what I have now. And it wants me to use the pickaxe to take a couple of these tiles. I like to be Oh, I guess I could play along and do the ones it wants me to. Okay, I'm gonna, gonna tap this, tap this. Oh, look, there's a hole in the ground now. Look at that. Ugh. See, this is bothering me. I'm not gonna like taking out of the center of my little island like this. To me, it looks bereft. Okay, <clears throat> so after you do that, you're going to use those tiles to connect one island to the other. There is lots to explore. When you're ready, enter the magic portal. Yes, yes, I know. All right, so I'm going to clean this up because this will drive me nuts. So come here, you. There's that, there's that. I just need one more tile. So let me just grab this because this is just a tutorial. I'm not gonna make this island pretty by any means. Also, oh, I need one more. Huh. Also, if you fall off your island, it'll teleport you right back. You don't lose your stuff, it's okay. I've fallen off plenty of times. So yeah, it's a situation. Oh, come on, come on you, come on, you can do it. Yeah, all right, there, I connected it. So here is the main island. Everyone's island is gonna look a little bit different but everyone is going to have a small mini island that they start off with, and then it connects to the island where your portal is, which we've got a nice, ooh, what's this? I'm just like squirreling all over the place. Ooh, they even gave me a little bit of farmland, and I have a hoe over here. So I'm gonna pick that up. Ooh, and I can harvest that. 
So I'm going to go harvest. Come on. There we go. Cool. So this is going to be just like Minecraft. You're going to have seeds. You plant your seeds. I got wheat. And guess who likes wheat? My little cow here. And you will be able to milk him eventually. <clears throat> so I petted him. So he makes him happy. Now I want to feed him. You look at the info at top and it tells you what your animal pet primarily eats. And then the favorites to make them extra friendly, I guess. I haven't really... Oh, yeah. If your cow is friendly, they'll bring you extra gifts. So I have not ever gotten my cow to friendly. I've just been feeding it normal stuff. So you equip your wheat and you just tap on the cow and you're feeding him. There we go. And if you look where it says food on the top right of my little menu, <clears throat> excuse me, it has the full meter. So it's completely fed. Once you Feed it all the way. If you have a bucket, you can milk them, get milk, and then later turn it into cheese, all that other good stuff. Here you have your mail where you can get letters um, from other people and stuff. And yeah, I don't really use the mailbox that much. <clears throat> this teleporter right here is where you're going to go to what's called the hub. The hub is where everyone goes to for inner player interaction you can sell stuff you can buy new things it's pretty cool <clears throat> so without further ado i am going to go through the portal yeah i'm flying to the hub your yeah, buddy all right takes it a minute do 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 okay maybe it takes me a little longer than a minute I've discovered the hub. This is where you trade and explore. Yes. Iron, coal, and stone. See, I wish I had this tutorial when I played on Sailor, my Sailor Moon character. I did not get this cute little tutorial at all. I had to figure out all of this on my own. So that's why I'm doing this tutorial um, video. All right. So from here, you can... Use your pickaxe and you can mine for stone and you can mine for coal because you're going to need coal when you smelt things and when you cook things. That's how you get your fire going. All right. So what, where is this guiding me? I don't, I don't know where it's guiding. Okay. It's telling me to go here. Oh, it wants me to gather iron. Oh, it's going to be particular. Okay, I'm mining. This other person is trying to take my resources, and he got it. Oh, okay, so I need iron. Let me mine my iron, please. Where are you? See, if I was on my other account, I would have an iron generator. Come on, man. Don't, don't take it. Don't, don't take my iron. Really? Oh, you guys. Please just let me, oh, I just want to get a little tap on it, please. There we go. No one's here. <laughs> I'm a mining. And your skill will go up after you've had successful mining attempts. <laughs> there we go. Yay! When you're ready to go back to your island, you click the home button on the right side of your screen. And if you see to the right, there's a little icon that says bed wars and then home. So there you have it. I just completed the tutorial that not everybody gets. I wish I knew about these mining things beforehand because I spent a lot of time wondering where am I going to get stone? Where am I going to get iron? Where am I going to get coal? And I was wandering around and it was, it was awful. I tell you, it was just awful. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm being dramatic, but let me get some coal. All right. I got some coal. I got my iron. So now I'm going to go back to... Well, let's explore the hub. Let me show you guys around the hub a little bit. So when you, let me get to where you first come in. All right. So here you can also use this portal to go back home too. This is your home portal, or you can just click the little home button depending where you're at. So you come in through here. Yay. Okay. If you take it to your immediate left, there is what 
is called the baker. And when you bake things like bread and stuff, you can sell it for money. I highly encourage this because that's how I got my start of all of my money. I went and just made like a whole bunch of random stuff. I made a bunch of pizzas, pizzas, and I can't remember what else. But pizza was definitely one that I got a lot of my money for. Some things to keep in mind. Um, the menu does change, meaning the baker offers better sales or offers you better money for certain things that you sell to him on certain days and it rotates. So you just have to keep checking back and see what he's going to offer to pay you the most for. You can also sell your crops here, sell our wheat if we want to. I don't really, don't really wanna sell my wheat. We have seeds. That's where you can get more crops. I've got the best crop seeds in town. All right, so we have lots of wheat and we have an oak sapling. I don't have enough money, clearly. So let's see, what do I have? I have zero coins. So I'm going to need to sell a whole bunch of crops to get enough coin to buy more seeds, to go buy some more stuff, and it's gonna be a good time. So there we have our seeds and our crops where you can sell and buy stuff. Over here, we have where you can buy more blocks to expand out your island. I, I use this all the time where I'll buy a bunch of grass. And, ooh, I like that luxury lamp. Okay, so I got a lot of choices. I'm not going to get distracted. So I usually buy the grass to expand out my island and to make it bigger. This is Bed Wars, the portal. Um I am still on the fence about that game, and this is mainly for islands, so we are only gonna talk about island stuff. All right, we have animals. This is where you can go, where when you have way more money, milk bucket, you can sell your milk once you buy it. Animal care, jar of honey, yeah, you'll eventually be able to have honeybees and trees after you take care of your animals a bunch more. And we have Mr. Adventurer. And you can sell all of your extra stuff that you get from your adventures. Now, I'm going to show you guys the adventure portal after I have enough materials to make myself a sword, at least. There is another section that I forgot to tell you guys about. Well, we have a florist. You can do quests to earn petals. And I'll teach you guys how to craft um, recipes with blue flowers. Ooh, I didn't even know we had that as an option. Cool. But um, breeding daisies and black flowers, I can, I'll can. i teach you guys how to do that too. You can also go in this pond to fish. If you go underwater, you can get... What is this? Um, let me see what that is. Hold on. I forget what it's called. I am such a dork. Come on. I just want to get one little piece of it so I know what it's called again. Come on. There we go. Aquamarine. Aquamarine. People, you need at least 100 of these to make your aquamarine sword. So that's a good idea to check by there and to mine those up. Let's see what else we got here. Totems. Totems is another good thing that you can buy. I only have a clay totem and it's 10,000 coins. Totally worth it when you do finally get totems. All right. So again, I'm just giving you guys the basics of the gameplay on this. So let me go back to my home. Come on, tap, tap, tap. Or I'm just going to walk it. Come on, I'm right by the gate. Might as well walk it. And I'm locating my island. Yeah. I'll have to give you guys my join code for my main account. I don't have it memorized. I know Scotty has it. No, no, no. Scotty doesn't have it. Jerry. Jerry has it. All right. Come on. Come on, island. Come on. 
Okay, it's messing with me. <laughs> now it's flying to my island. And again, you guys, this is just the initial basics of it. It gets a lot more fun the more you do. So I have all of this. And this is a pretty, all right. So I'm going to make this even. I don't like that my farm is all the way over there. So I'm going to start breaking up tiles. We're going on a demolition tour. Come on, demolition time. Here we go. Da, 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 da. I'm just getting rid of all these tiles because I plan on redecorating this island to make it look different. Come on. Little and plus two, I am getting skills using my axe. Make sure you harvest those berries, they are going to be very important down the road. Important, make sure I use my tea, my, my other tea that often gets mixed, missed in the English language. When people say the word important, they say important, and I am guilty of it too. So, a lot of it has to do with my accent. All right, so now that I have those tiles, I'm going to go in my backpack. I'm going to bring that down. And I want to, oh my goodness, I want this to be bigger farmland. So I'm going to expand my island out here. There we go. Pretty island. And you can do this any way you want. You can keep the tears on there. You can just let it go. Make like Elsa and let it go. And we have the harvesting. Here we go. Come on, harvest. Yay. My farming is now up to level three. And now I've got the ability to do a watering can. So when you first start out playing islands, you're going to be doing a lot of farming. Okay. There's no way around that. I wish there was, but there's not. And you're going to use that to get money. Your, to sell your, you sell your crops. You need to pet your cow, moo. <laughs> You'll want to take care of your cow. So I'm going to equip some wheat. I'm going to pet them. There you go. And I got more to my animal care. And that's important because, important because that will enable you to be able to have more pets and unlock other types of recipes. And look what we got up here. We got apples. So I'm going to jump and do some apples yeah all right that increased my farming there should be another apple tree they usually give you two where are the two apple trees mm, there might be one over here now let's see if i can i want to do a workbench so i need five wood so i'm going to chop down a tree no, don't chop down the trees. Come on. There we go. Oops. And always plant a tree back. Always replant your tree after you chop it down. It's just good juju. And plus, you're maximizing your resources. Aries, quit jumping on my head. Don't appreciate it there, bud. Yeah, I know. I love you too. <laughs> All right. So I got an oak sapling. I got four wood. Let's see if I have enough for my workbench. And I do. All right, so I'm going to put down my workbench. There's a good spot. And I want a sword. So I need 16 wood. Those are growing. So I got some more trees over here. I almost fell. That would have been funny. I probably should show you what happens when you fall, but I'm sure you guys will all figure that out. You just spawn back. That's all. And replant my tree. My wood cutting went up. Yay! And I want to say this one's an apple, but I'm just going to let it go. Let's, we'll see. And make sure you check back on that berry bush. All right, what did I, that was an oak sapling. How much wood do I have? I have no idea. Let's see. See, this isn't fair. There's so many more oak saplings on this starter island. Oh, that was an apple tree. Oops. <laughs> um, on my other island, on my, my main island with Sailor Moon, I did not start off with a lot of trees. I had a tree. A tree. It was pathetic. And it made me sad. Ooh, 
you want to harvest these. These are grass. And you'll need tall grass for crafting later. So it's good to collect those. Let me see. I got 16 wood. I need 20, so I need four more. Oak sapling. Yay! Move that up there. Boom. I need one more wood. Oh, great. The tree's already regrew. Come on. And I'm going to do that. Once I get to the sword, I'll be able to show you guys the adventure areas. There we go. Plant the tree back. Cool. So I'm going, whoops, not the right one. So I'm going to craft me a sword. It's a wooden sword, but my gosh, it'll do me good. And down here you have more crafting tables and more things that you can make. Got a torch, won't really need those. There's a bucket. So if you have enough iron, you can make a bucket and then you can milk the cow and then you can sell the milk. So that's a bonus too. So I got my sword. All right, guys, I'm ready to go battle some slimes. And you will need those slimes to go craft spell books. So, and it's also a quick way of getting money if you don't want to farm. If farming's not really your thing and you want something a little bit more action, then I suggest going to the slime portal. Craft yourself a sword like I did and then head out to that slime portal. Here we go. And the slime portal is going to be over here. Adventure, I got to, no, he doesn't have any quests. I have to make sure. You always want to try to do the quests because they give you good things. All right. We are in the slime portal area. This is the very first area where you'll start combat, doing combat against creatures to earn drops for rare items that you need to craft recipes with that you can't get anywhere else. So I'm just gonna smack a slime. Come on, we're looking for green slime gears, pink slime gears, and blue slime gears. Oh look, you'll wanna harvest this. These are bamboos, you'll need them later. You don't have to harvest like all of them, but yeah. Come here, help a person out. Also, you see how I um, took damage. My health meter is on the top right hand of my screen. To regain your health, you eat food. So it's kind of a good idea to at least get your cooking skill up high enough to make bread. And I will show you how to do that here in a sec. Yike. Come on. Come on. I got slime balls. I got lots of slime balls. And I'm out of here. I'm going to die. All right, so let me, now that we've got some slime balls, I am going to sell them. And you'll see that they sell for quite a lot. So adventure, go here, view shop, slime, click all, and sell. So now I have 50 coins in my wallet. Woo, go me. But all, oh, and I have none left, so I sold them all. Okay, so I'm going to go home and I'm going to make some bread real quick. Come on, I'm clicking my little home button. So that's how you can get your money if you don't want to um, farm and sell your crops in the beginning. Some people like a more relaxed gameplay when they're first starting out a new game and would prefer doing the whole farming method thing. That's okay too. I'm just letting you know that there are options to earning money when you first start out, and that is one of them. So I'm going to harvest, 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 harvest. Yes, harvest, harvest, harvest. Okay. Oh, I can plant tomato seeds. All right, so I need a, do I craft it here? No. The next thing I'm going to need is a fire pit. Yeah, I can't do the other thing. When you have the level two crafting station, you can make a stone. Um, oh, I need 10 wood. Ah. You can make a stone, a bigger um, smelting area where you can cook three items at a time. Let's see. But with the fire, it's really just to get you started. 
All right, let's go here. I forgot how much wood I needed. Isn't that sad? I get so distracted. And these trees, I can tell, are too close together because one of them isn't growing. So I'm just going to spread those out a little. There, that should be good. All right, so I need... Oh, I can make it now. So I'm going to craft the fire pit. All right, I'm going to drop it right there. And, oh, I need wheat. Don't I? Where's my wheat? No, I have wheat. Huh. It won't let me. Interesting. I don't have enough cooking skill to make bread yet. That's okay. So I have coal at the bottom. You put in a coal to get the fire started. And for the fire pit, you can just do one item at a time. I want to be able to cook, though. I want a cooking station. Where's my workbench? Cooking. Animal. Furniture. Cooking. I need too much iron and too much wood. Okay, so once I get enough iron and wood, I'm going to make on workbenches, I'm going to make a cooking station. And from there, I'm gonna make a lot of bread. All right, and here we go. I have a dried bamboo. There we go. For right now though, I'm going to stop the tutorial. This gives you about a good 25, 30 minutes of gameplay to get the basics figured out. Make sure you always harvest those berries. You're gonna need those for the chickens later. Very important. Chickens lay eggs and that'll give you lots of money. We have a little Mr. Cow here. I'm gonna pet you. Yay! I've got a small display cow, really? Huh, interesting. I did not know. All right, you guys. So that is all for today. That is the beginning of how to play islands. And really, it's wherever your imagination can take you. You start off by connecting your islands, by borrowing some ground from your main one, your spawning island, and extending it out so they can connect. And you can just reshape it to do whatever you want. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial. I will do another video to show you my current island and I will give you my join code for my main character, Sailor Moon. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy it and that you can join me in game. I look forward to it. And if you have any questions or you would like to see more details about certain spots or areas, I can totally do that too. I have no problem giving you guys all the info lowdown. All right, everybody, that was it. Okay, bye.